Welcome to Schrodal TV. Here you can follow the key steps for maintaining your Schrodal valve, for long valve life and for your safety. Please pay attention to the danger and safety precautions in the maintenance and operating instructions for the product TDM. This can be found on our website in the form of a PDF file. By means of the nameplate, check whether you have the correct spare parts before removing the valve. You need to know the type of valve and the correct K number. In the event that the nameplate is missing, the valve identification is stamped on the valve. During assembly, it is essential to use a new set of gaskets. The recommended spare parts are the set of gaskets and the complete bypass insert. In order to check the bypass, first of all, remove the flange connection. To do this, loosen the bolts and then remove the bypass branch sideways. With the aid of two suitable lever tools, carefully extract the bypass insert from the valve body. The lever tools are positioned opposite to each other on the shoulder of the control head. Now remove the bypass insert in order to examine possible function impairments. First of all, extract the vortex bushing from the control head. Now check the inside surface of the bushing to see whether there are any signs of damage. Pay particular attention to the seating surface of the bushing. If there is minor damage, the seating can be reground according to the maintenance instructions. If there is severe damage, the bypass insert must be replaced. More about this later. Next, remove the vortex plug from the control head and check the surface of this part as well. Pay attention to scratches or more severe damage. In particular, check the seating surface of the plug. If there is minor damage, the seating can be reground according to the maintenance instructions. If there is severe damage, the plug must be replaced. As a next step, check the movability of the bushing. It must be seated tight but still move smoothly. Now check the movability of the piston. To do this, move the lever back and forth, then press the piston back towards the lever. There must be a noticeable resistance. This indicates sufficient sealing ring strength. If there is no resistance, then the sealing ring must be replaced. In this case, please contact us. Next, the orifice must be examined for possible damage. Carefully press the orifice down through the flange with the aid of a suitable tool. The seating and the boreholes must not show any signs of damage. If your TDM is equipped with a nozzle instead of an orifice, the procedure for the disassembly is identical. When inspecting the nozzle, check for any damage to the inner surface. During assembling, make sure that the side with the gasket is inserted first. These were the most important points for the inspection of the bypass. If you have detected severe damage, the bypass must be replaced so that the correct function of the valve and thus of your system can be guaranteed. It is always recommended to have a complete bypass insert in stock. Should that not be the case, please let us know the type of valve and the K number so that we can supply you with the correct insert. The order number of the valve and the label on the packaging of the bypass insert must always correspond. As a next step, the upper body must be removed. Extract all but two opposing bolt connections. Please observe the spring tension. 
secure the upper body with clamping elements and release the remaining two bolts. Smaller valves can be secured easily by hand. Now lift off the upper body. First, remove the spring from the check valve and then examine it for any possible fractures. Now pull out the check valve. Then inspect the guiding surfaces of the check valve at the top and bottom and also inside the housing. They must not show any signs of damage. If these surfaces show signs of minor damage, they can be reground in accordance with the maintenance instructions. If they're severely damaged, they must be replaced. Please contact us in this case. When using a valve with a Venturi ring, remove the ring now. Check the interior and exterior surfaces for grooves, scratches or other damage. When the maintenance work is completed, assembly can begin. Take utmost care for cleanliness and make sure to install new gaskets. When installing EPDM gaskets, please do not use mineral oils and fats, but rather a silicon oil or a simple soap solution. Assembly takes place in reverse order. First, install the new gaskets. Then, the check valve. When inserting the check valve, make sure that the taper bore is facing towards the flange. Only in this position can you later connect the lever of the bypass with the check valve. Next, install the spring. Insert the bypass. Please pay attention to the position of the control head. The lever must be inserted into the borehole of the check valve with the groove facing upwards. Now connect the flange. Pay attention to the alignment of the pinning and to the corresponding recess in the flange. Turn the nuts onto the bolts and tighten them. Now affix the upper body and pay attention to the bore holes. Then tighten the bolts. As part of the final inspection, check all bolted connections. The functional test of the valve is done together with the pump. Your Schrodel valve is now ready for long-term operation. If you have any questions, we look forward to hearing from you.